acutely conscious of where the organization is at. Um, and there is always a bit of a gap between where you as a senior leadership team feel that you are and, and the, the knowledge you have and the, the thinking process you have around where you are in the, on the road. But you have to know where the other 40,000, 10,000, 250 people are and you have to feel that in your fingers. I think in these days it's very important that you communicate your strategy. That sounds common sense. But what does it mean, you know? A strategy is also a kind of change process. And my experience is everybody in the company needs the same time to understand this change. So you cannot communicate with five PowerPoint slides where you have detailed information. You have to give people the time to digest it. If things change so much, you need to be willing to change. Um, if you have a lot of experts which are skilled in um, old technologies, they're not um, the wrong people for the future. They're all just on the wrong technology or maybe on the wrong methodology of doing things. Um, so they need to be able to change to this new world and they adapt to this new world. But we also need to give them the opportunity to do so. As a business leader, you have to sponsor it. Uh, first of all, get an understanding about technologies. And then once you set your directions and once you have uh, uh, think about what are the what are the what are the different uh, programs you know to bring the transformations you have to sponsor it you have to think about what are the blocking things that you have uh, in this during barriers. this change barriers mm -hmm. on this change and also you have to reward success as well because one of the things that is also very interesting or very important during this transformation is you have to first of all you have to build uh, success stories because we often think about you know when we bring new ideas or new, something new to the organizations, you have to have early adopters. And then those early adopters, or you have to identify, let's say, your activist or like the champions uh, on the organizations, they will tell what, it, what, what is the success. And then once you have the success stories, and then you will become at the tipping point. Once you're at the tipping point, you become the mainstream adopters. So you have to always think, as, as, as we talk about, it's always a journey. You cannot make change overnight. You have to build early success, build success stories, mm -hmm. and then share it to a, uh, to a wider audience in the organization. Super interesting. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Yep. Thank you. Welcome. Lessons. Thank you.